All right, I'm here with uh, Austin Williams and Mason Williams, low scorers on the Bridgeport High School golf team. Uh, Austin, I'll start with you first. What's it been like uh, playing beside your brother this year? Um, Mason's a good player, and I mean, when it, in a sport like golf, where you're playing a certain amount and counting a certain amount, it really doesn't matter if he's beside you, whether it's Mason or anyone else. Uh, Mason's a good player, and I'm happy to have him on the team because he scored well. And he just happens to be my brother. All right, and now we'll go with uh, Mason. Mason, have you? Uh, how do you think you benefited from playing beside someone like Austin? I don't know. He's taught me a lot. He's introduced me to a bunch of new people. Um, he really taught me like how to interact with other people, and it's been a lot. All right. Next question for you guys, uh, Austin. You've been down to the state tournament before. How, how does that affect your mindset going down there again? Uh, Mason and I have both played Ogilvy a couple times. Um, it's a course where you know you're going to get bad bounces and you have to stay focused. You got to take the good with the bad. You got to know that you're going to get screwed over sometimes and you just got to remain focused and that's really all you can do and play your best golf. All right. Mason, um, you haven't played in the state tournament up there, but as Austin said, you have played the course. Uh, do you think playing in the state tournament, that will affect it any more with the pressure? Nah, not really. You just, the way golf is, you just gotta play your game. You can't really focus on what's at stake. You just gotta play, and then the outcome is whatever. Austin, um, going into the state tournament, how do you how do you think you've been playing? Um, it's my thanks. Got it from the network. Um, I've struggled as of late. I played okay at regionals, but um. This week and last week was really the first time that I got to go back to my home range and uh, practice a little bit. Uh, before that, it was really hectic. Golf every day. We had matches. I didn't really have much time to practice or work on anything. But now that I got a little more time, uh, I'm pretty confident going into states. All right. And uh, Mason, what about you? What's your current state of playing? How do you think you've been playing? Oh, I've been playing great. I really feel good out my game. But I don't think the only thing I could work on is maybe my irons. But other than that, I feel great. I feel like. If Everybody plays good. We can make a run for it. Think your chances are good, Austin, for uh, bringing home the state title in golf? I think so. I think if we play well, um, I think if we play well, there's no one who can beat us. All right, heard it here first. Austin, uh, your coach, Fred Wilhelm, he's a knowledgeable guy. Uh, what has he taught you uh, so far this year? Freddie's just all kinds of loose. He's just taught us that you, you don't need pressure, you just got to go out. Play nice and loose, don't think too much, stay focused, but just have have a good old time. All right. Mason, what about you? Uh, he's really helped me to uh, like focus more and not get so uptight under pressure. Like those three or four flutters you really get nervous on, but with Fred, he's really helped me like control my emotions and be good now. I don't miss a lot of them anymore. All right. Uh, Austin, go ahead and name me, name me first a time that you guys have really got along, and name me a funny instance where you guys have had differences. Um, we get along most of the time. I was proud of him after the um, West Virginia Junior Amateur. He played really well, shot two over, one over, one over, and one. So that was pretty impressive. I felt felt well from him at that point, and then. Um, time I was annoyed with him. Just the other day we were playing and uh, he had a bad drive and I mocked him and went like this and he threw a club at me and it went like a hundred yards. It was, I mean, if he could swing as hard as he threw that club, he probably gained at least 20 yards on his drives. I guarantee it. <laughs> Alright, uh, Mason, the time when you guys have really gotten, gotten, uh, gotten together with I don't know, we get together all the time. There's really not too many instances where we're, <laughs> where we're mad at each other, but one time I really remember, he, um, we were driving home, and he is really stupid. We were driving home, and I asked him to drive through Burger King, and he forgot. I got really, really mad at him. I think we almost hit a car going back, because I punched him, and he swerved off the road, and we almost hit a car. Genius. <laughs> there you have it first. Give Mason Williams his Burger King. <laughs>